Hey guys and gals, how you doing? We're Ollie's Airsoft here again, reviewing a couple of new items uh, from Helicon. Now, you've seen us review some uh, fleeces and jackets and stuff recently. What we're wearing today is their new CPU uniform. Now, myself and Jerry have both worn uh, the SF Helicon kit for quite some time in the Camagron pattern. But you know what, Camagron, nice though it is, doesn't necessarily suit very green and verdant sights. So coming into spring and moving into to summer, we needed something that was going to be green based. So Helicon sent us out these two patterns. I'm wearing the Hellenic pattern from Greece, and Jerry is wearing the Polish woodland. As you can tell from the backdrop, these are often really, really nice um, camouflage. Generic greens, browns, nice dark colors. Jerry actually said to me, yeah, we we're on the same team. He shot me today because he saw a movement, couldn't identify who it was and shot me. So, you know, he hadn't a clue who it was, he wasn't even sure it was a, an airsofter, but he saw a movement so he shot me. I think that's good recommendation for the, the pattern itself that I'm wearing. Um, there's lots of guys already wear the Polish woodland here in Ireland. It's a great pattern for, for temperate woodland sites. The Hellenic pattern is new to us. I have to admit when I first saw it, I was, oh, I'm not sure. But once I got out here and played in it, it really is an excellent pattern. Tremendous. Now what's different about the CPU compared to the SFU? Well it's got a slightly different cut for a start. The, the jacket or the shirt is more like the, um, I think it's called the TCU, which I also have in Camagram. Um, plenty of pockets, uh, space for uh, elbow pads. There's only two pockets on the front, because if you're wearing a rig down here, you're not going to be able to access them. So the two, um, two chest pockets, which are angular nice, um, usual Velcro and so forth. Trousers, again, if I had to say anything about them, they're probably a slightly snugger cut than the SF, but these are incredibly comfortable. I've just played here for the morning for a half day, and tremendously comfortable, really excellent indeed. One thing I'd like to say about the chop is that the collar here has this like velvety kind of fleecy material and uh, it really really makes it for some comfortable wearing um, you can sort of zip this up high keep this up nice and tight so you protect your neck when you're air softening which is fantastic but as i said that little bit of an extra touch which isn't on some of the other ranges that they do it does make all the difference it makes it a lot more comfortable to wear now um, just to go over what Mark said, I have to say, I've worn the UTP pants and I've been wearing them sort of more and more lately uh, for airsoft and I found them really comfortable. My other pants that I wear in the Camagron, um, I can't really remember what make they are now at this stage. CSF. Yeah. It's the SF, yeah. Uh, they're fantastic as well. These are more comfortable. I do agree with Mark, I think these are a slightly tighter cut on the, on the trouser part. Uh, Mark seems to think the chop is. Um, I probably would agree with him, except for one thing I will say is the sleeves themselves are very big and baggy. You do yeah, have to sort of area, yeah. chide them in. They're a sort of MC Hammer style, but for the chop. Um, very, very comfortable outfit. Uh, the great thing about this pattern is this actually suits the environment we're in better than the actual Polish woodland. Polish Woodlands has been used a lot by the Irish Airsofters uh, because we are a green country. Just look around us, this is now full spring. Uh, once summer comes, it'll be even darker. Uh, this is when this sort of pattern will come in, but for early spring, when I say I shot Mark earlier on, I couldn't see. The pattern broke up so well. All I saw was a slight bit of movement in the bushes. Now, it was a good distance away, um, but as I said, the pattern really, really, really worked well. So uh, I have to say this Hellenic pattern for this kind of um, certainly early spring, mind you, I'm looking at it, I think it will fit well in for uh, summer wear as well. Great pattern though. My initial reaction when I saw it first was I liked it. Mark was, oh God, that looks like somebody bathed. But do you know what? In field, <coughs> it works a treat. So for two sets of um, these identical outfits that we're wearing are just different patterns. I have to say another big thumbs up, Ella can seem to get it right all the time. We've not really had any sort of uh, failures of stitching or fabric. Uh, Mark was uh, out only recently wearing his SF um, suit and he ripped it for the first time in I think two and a half, three years on barbed wire. Let's face it, most stuff's going to rip on barbed wire, but that's a testament to how 
durable the uh, garments are. So um, I am a big fan, I'm sold on Helic and I have been for a good while. They do make some really, really cracking gear. And this, as I said, is another good little uh, uniform if you're looking for something that's a little bit different in style to the average ho-hum hair softer that you see out there. This is brand new from Helicon. Uh, I certainly would check it out. That's pretty much it. I mean, you know, trousers, as I say, incredibly comfortable. <coughs> I'm wearing them with the UTP belt at the minute. Um, really excellent. One point to note in comparison with the SF trousers is that the area that holds the knee pad is slightly smaller so you will have to cut down your knee pads if you already have knee pads but that's a small tiny tiny thing but just just so you know it's there um jerry's already mentioned the the arms on the, the shirt are a little bit longer than maybe than we've experienced before i'd have to say probably the trousers the inside leg on the trousers is probably a fraction longer than the sf as well but that's not a big issue i'd rather have them a fraction too long than a fraction too short but as i say i cannot get over how comfortable this uniform is to wear as uh, you may not be able to see it but the sun's shining today on a spring day it's not overly warm but the sun is shining and it's just so comfortable to wear i'm not overheating i'm not too cold it's great and i know jerry's mentioned the uh, the little fleece type line collar that is going to be invaluable when we get into autumn and even winter play that you can actually bring it right up and keep the heat in i'm, I'm really thrilled with this this uniform one thing i will add to that is when we play, normally from this sort of time of year onwards, I, I tend to wear a U-bag uh, uh, and just then my sort of my rig because I find I just overheat too much when I'm playing, moving around fast and all the rest, you get too sweaty. I was a little bit concerned because even though it's not overly warm today, it is a, one of the warmest days we've had for airsofting this year. Um, and I was actually a little bit nervous that this suit would be a little bit too hot for me. Um, and it didn't, it didn't overheat me at all, which was good. By going to www.helicontext.com, you can download the 2012 PDF catalogue and you'll be able to view not only the CPU range but all the other items that Helicontext are currently selling. As you can see, the CPU uniform comes in this coyote brown slash tan colour. It comes in the Hellenic pattern, the Camogram and the Polish woodland. Got him. He was just hiding beneath that thing. Right oh, there's a small bunker or a yeah. box I think that was one of those I just shot. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Mark. <laughs> 